Hello, my name's Andrew Coward. I'm the general manager for the software networking business here at IBM. This year at Mobile World Congress, I think it's probably peak hype for AI. If you look around the show, there's an incredible amount of discussions. I don't think you're probably allowed to even show up without talking about AI here. It's really interesting if you separate out the companies into what they're really offering. On the one hand, you've got uh, a bucket of companies that are really offering models or what I would like describe as engines, meaning that you bring the data to the engine, you build your own solution, you build your own car, and you kind of drive that from there. That requires a huge amount of expertise and time to go deliver. And in the process, you're also bringing all your data typically into a cloud provider where it's going to get captured and monetized from a cloud provider perspective as they sell you compute um, and bring other applications into it. So that's one bucket, interesting. Second bucket, almost every single vendor that makes equipment is also adding AI on that. And so you've got these vertically integrated stacks that vendors are providing. And through that process, they're also trying to lock you in because it turns out that as all the information goes into their model, they're less likely to allow other vendors into that ecosystem um, to run their AI onto it. So there's really a fight, if you like, for the data that comes out of this equipment into those models. The third category, and this is where IBM really fits in, is companies that are providing the complete car. And if you think about that car and what that needs to do, it's not just using one model, it's using multiple models. It's not just working with one vendor, it's working across an ecosystem of vendors. And there's very specifics in there, and obviously different vendors are in different places. Here at IBM, we're focused on how we can use different models to achieve the right outcomes. So for example, LLMs are really bad at time series data. We don't understand the difference between this week, yesterday, 10 years ago, 100 years ago. We've been using really small models, time-based uh, time models that are only uh, a million parameters or so big that can be super efficient about understanding um, data. Now, just giving you a model isn't enough, we then put that in a system that's end-to-end. -end. So as I say, only a few vendors are in this bucket that enables those kind of end-to-end -end solutions and then bringing the partners that IBM has and the rest of the ecosystem, the other vendors, be it radio, um, IP, backhaul, et cetera, into that ecosystem to provide these complete solutions. So as we try and separate the massive amount of hype from the reality, it's about understanding what you might want to do yourself and what vendors can bring to that party. And here at IBM, whatever the model you have, we kind of have the right way, we think, of approaching the problem. Thank you.